On to race number two, second on the programme. We're on the turf here for the second. Class 5, 1,200 metres, uh, the trip with Best Gift and Jumbo Bus. Also finding, it's all finding themselves in Class 5 for the first time. Diamond Legends won over this trip. That was a happy valley. Wonderful tie gets the blinkers back on. Happy Sound gets up from the 1,000 to the 1,200 metres. Fortune Way, first up here. First start for Benno Young. Blinkers on for the first time for Emery Bourne. And Rich City Fortune uh, He's a four-time course and distance winner. Alexia Bedell arrived from Barrier 5. Now, Happy Sound and M Reborn have both been up at Chung Fa, but uh, Happy Sound's been back a while. M Reborn came back on Christmas Eve. Looks to be some good enough sp uh, pace in this race. Uh, Happy Sound with Dylan Moe, I think, uh, certainly the likely leader. He, leader. he can mix his races where he, he likes to race, but uh, last start he did go forward with the seven-pound claimer on, so expect him to go forward uh, with Dylan Moe. Uh, Lightning Missile, I think uh, he's probably gone some of his best races when he's uh, raced handy, and I think Emery Bourne, Rumenier, they won't be far away. Forever kindness, Diamond Legend, the ones that could be shunted out wide. Wonderful Tiger. He's, um, look, he's a 20 start maiden still, but the blinkers go back on. You can see him wearing them here, and he works really nicely in them. So, once again, he's going to get his opportunity from barrier number six. Here's Rumenier. It was just a nice uh, slow piece from Rumenier. I thought I'd show him there just at the back. He's not doing too much. Um, he's been disappointing, though, this horse. I'm surprised he hasn't won a race by now, but uh, he hasn't, and he's still a maiden. And uh, M Reborn, he's been running pretty well recently. And uh, especially on the surface, on the back onto the the uh, grass, he ran and he got just got beaten three starts ago in the bob of the head. Mm. We're going to have a look at Emery Bourne in a moment. We'll start off though with that wonderful tug. Now this is over the 1650, dropping back to the 1200 meters. Blinkers applied. Zach Purton jumps on board as well. Yeah, Sylvester de Souza was on board for the, uh, his last start effort. Zach was on board for this effort. You can see the sylph coming out and after him with the the nose band on. He's got the the white shades on. His wonderful tiger. Um, he's yet to win from 20 starts. He keeps getting run down. He's due a winning turn. I think he can just about do it, Paul. Um, yeah, I've got him on top. I just thought that the 1,200 metres might be a good thing for him. He's he's in form at the moment. He's had four starts at Charter and done zip, but that was when he was really out of form. And he's had three seconds in his life, and two of them have been in the last three starts. So if he ever, if, is ever going to win one, he's in form now. It's that last bit he just tends to struggle with over those yeah. uh, longer distances. All right, and that was the joy of giving, finishing behind them there yeah, as well, finished off strongly. He won midweek. Uh, Rich City Fortune and uh, Emery Bourne with the cheek pieces out the back. He's got the blinkers on now. He's switched them up. Yeah, I've got uh, Emery Bourne in the numbers as well. I think he's, I've got him as the Quinella horse. I do like the, the fact the blinkers go on. Uh, Sylvester de Souza, he's got an awkward draw in 10, but I think he'll get back and he'll be sort of finishing off like this as well. They don't chase too hard in Class 5, so we'll give him his opportunity here. And uh, he just got beaten on the bob here. They tried him up over 1,400 metres last time, but I think he's certainly a, a better hope uh, this time around um, back over 1,200 metres in reborn. All right, OK. What about the class droppers? We can have a look at them in action, trialling. Uh, best gift um, here at the Valley. He's uh, eight and nothing, really. One fourth place to his name so far. Yeah, I thought it wasn't a bad troll here from Best Gift. And um, look, he's, as you say, he's done nothing so far. His best has probably been that fourth behind Witness Hunter. Uh, he's got to carry the 130 pounds. Well, he's got a little claim there with uh, Vincent on. But um, I just thought Barrier 9 was a little bit awkward for him. He was a bit keen last time out. I'm going to take a bit of a chance with him this time round to Best Gift on that trial. I didn't think it was um, too bad. And uh, it's a tough race, though, this one. All right. And Jumbo Bus as well. His first start, there was a little bit of, a bit of money for him, but he hasn't really done anything yet. But this is OK. We missed the uh, bus at his last start to Jumbo Bus. He stood there and uh, was hopeless away from the start. I thought in this trial here, you can see him uh, back there in the, the blue cap in the second half of the field. They weren't going overly hard, but he seemed to go to the line quite comfortably. He was under a decent hold there, so he might be worth another look at uh, Jumbo Bus at a, a decent price. Yeah, I threw him in the numbers because his track work has been pretty good after that trial. All right, since uh, Ruminair, um, his uh, current favourite. Yeah, he's a 14 start made and still Ruminair. Uh, he, look, he, I think I made him the best bet on his debut here. That's how far going back and over 1,000 metres. And he ran OK on that occasion, but didn't win. He's up 1,200 now. He's had a few trainers. He's now of Richard Gibson, Barrier 3. He's always had the ability in his track work in the morning, just hasn't managed to finish it off, and he's had a few issues internally, I think. His trials have been OK. Mm. He, um, he was slow at last time. He got a long way back, but he does have uh, plenty of natural pace, I think, as well, just uh, Ruminier. All right, so he's he's in still, or he's gone? I've got him right, and I kept him safe, uh, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> you could tell I was sort of uh, on the fence there, <laughs> wasn't I? I kept him in there for fourth, but I have got wonderful Tiger on top. Coming back to 1,200, we'll give him a bit of a chance here in Class 5. M Reborn, he's been going well recently, and we saw that second. 
Jumbo Bus is the one at massive odds. Just just think he's improving this horse and uh, class five looks like it could be his class. And as I said, I've kept a bit safe of Ruminier, although he's come up pretty short in there for fourth. Five, eleven, two, and ten again with the class five as I've gone exotics. Going to take a bit of a uh, chance in this race and go with the the one horse uh, best gift coming out of the stable of Ricky Yu, Vincent Ho. His best run to date was two runs ago behind Witness Hunter. He was up uh, well back on that occasion until last time out he drew wide and got a long way back and never really finished off. But I didn't mind his trial, so I'll put him on top. Over Wonderful Tiger, who's uh, still a uh, another maiden in the race. Ruminier, and I threw an Emery Bourne who's been up at uh, Chung Fa. Wasn't bad his recent trial up there. So 1, 5, 10 and 11. Not a race I'll be having a best bet in, I don't think. Um, second, but six and five uh, is my cue there in race number two, the class five. Third race for us, we stay over the 1,200 metres. We go up a grade, class four, that's next.